Question 20. The diagram shows two circles, each with a radius of 5 cm. They touch at E and have centres at C and F. AB equals 5 cm and ACEF is a straight line. The line DF is a tangent to the circle at D. We need to prove that both triangles ABE and CDF are congruent to each other. So that's these two. We need to prove that they're congruent. Um, so first of all, um, we've got here that side AB is 5 centimetres. That's been given to us. So AB is 5 centimetres. Um, that's given. And we also can establish then that this distance here, CD, is also 5 centimetres. Um, because that's the radius of a circle from the centre at C to the circumference at D. So CD is also 5 centimetres because it's a radius now in this first circle here this angle here must be 90 degrees and that's one of the circle theorems the, the angle on the circumference is going to be 90 degrees in a semicircle so the angle at ABE is 90 degrees. Because of an angle in a semicircle. Now we need to use that then to show that this angle here is also going to be 90 degrees and the reason for that is because the radius of the circle and the tangent of the circle are always going to be at 90 degrees to each other. So the next one is that the uh, angle CDE is 90 degrees uh, and that's because the tangent uh, and the radius they meet at 90 degrees so we've now got that both of these sides are the same and they've also both got a right angle so all we now need to do is find uh, the other side, the hypotenuse, and prove that these two are both the same as each other so ang the uh, line A to E is going to be 10 centimeters long because it's two lots of the radius and the angle C to F is also going to be 10 centimetres because that also is two lots of the radius. Now because we've got a triangle where we know these, this side and this side here and that's a right angle then we almost don't need to work out this final one because Pythagoras' theorem will allow us to automatically know what that one is. So we just need to finish off the question now by saying that um, we have uh, a right angle triangle we have a right angle triangle a hypotenuse the side that are equal therefore they are going to be congruent